our video view. You can move around and stuff. You can jump, and you have to jump over to a brick lift. He's the bad guy. So, I forgot to say the name of this. This is called Toaster Tales. Origin. Should have this little. So, this is the origin story of the toaster. Oh. If I had a little bit more time, I would have changed the whole game so it, um, like there are different levels of difficulty as you can see here. You can jump, it goes up uh, 30 blocks, not blocks, 30 pixels. pixels. 30 pixels and down 30 pixels, so it like jumps and stuff. So you can move side to side as I've already said. First one would be maybe one piece of burnt toast lying in and you have to jump over it. The next level might be two, and then as the levels progress and stuff, it would get more and more. Then finally, it would be the boss level, and right after that, you'd probably find the unburnt toast, which would be your soulmate. This is the best idea so far. Now, for our probably more successful side, the board game. Board game. Board game. Board game. Board game. Yeah. What was that joke? <laughs> okay, so we did the Toaster Tale Origin, the basic concepts of the card game. Basically, there's 54 cards in the deck. You have two cards in your hand. To win, you must have a toaster dude, as we named him, and the soulmate at the end of your turn to win. Every turn, you must play a card and pick a card from the deck, which has different advantages and disadvantages. Different cards have different advantages. Um, when cards are discarded, they go to a uh, place called the graveyard, except for Bird Toast, which literally does nothing in the game. It's just an extra card. Like the Joker. The Bird Toast, once it reaches the graveyard, then goes back to the deck. As you can see here, there's the Toaster dude, then the Soulmate, and then this is the All Seeing Eye. This lets you look at your opponent's hand, but you can't do anything to their hand. This is a shoot. This is Thieves' Hand. You can then steal a card from your opponent's hand and use it as you would like. But if you already have two cards in your hand, you must get rid of a card in your hand in order to keep the card. This is Pullover. Uh, you must skip a turn. This is the fourth dimension. <laughs> you, can look at the top of the, you can look at the top of the deck and then put it anywhere inside the deck if you please. And then yeah. This is knockout. Your opponent uh, is knocked out for one minute, and you can skip his turn as many times as you like in one minute. Oh my god. This is the main villain, and what this card, there's only one of them in the deck. Uh, if you have him, and your opponent has both Toaster Dude and Soulmate, you can use him to steal the Soulmate back to yourself, and then you must discard him. Oh. This is the Rats. Uh, these let you just steal a card from your opponent's hand, not knowing what it is. And this is burnt toast, as we said. This is shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> you can choose a card in your opponent's hand and then send it to the graveyard. Just and this is the Necronomicon. <laughs> you can like, take a card from the, the graveyard and put it back into your hand. So the Necronomicon Very nice. from Ash versus um, the Evil Dead. <laughs> so who's your target market? Um, and it's like five Everybody. And up, so people who can understand the game and the rules of the game, pretty much. Okay. Um, the the um, what it is card game, obviously. Uh, the um, gosh, about like cost to produce. How much you think oh, it'll take okay. to make that's, the? Yes, that's on the bottom. You're doing some that you All right. research. So. One deck of 54 cards will cost about about one dollar and fifty-four cents to make. And that's, then, is that with printing? Yes. Okay. At least we believe so. Okay. And so, in order to sell 150 decks, it will cost around two hundred and thirty-one dollars. Okay. And you would put the uh, selling cost around five dollars. And for 300 cards in one deck. This is like a game thing where it's like instruction manual and all this stuff, which we could make on our own technically. Okay. But this is like an easier way to provide it if we could do it. Okay. It will cost around eleven dollars and sixty one cents. And to sell hundred and fifty decks it will cost one thousand it would in order to make hundred and fifty decks, it will cost around one thousand dollars seven hundred and forty one 
uh, at 50 cents. Which is a lot more. So. And so sell, you put the selling cost around $35. Gotcha. That's for the whole kit? Wait. Yeah. Okay. All right, and degree of difficulty to make your product? Uh, it seems pretty easy for the 54 cards, but for the 300 cards, it might be a little more common. All right, thank you very much. Good job. So the product we're spotting is the, uh, what was it? Toasty Advent Origins? I don't even know the name. <laughs> Toaster Tail. Toaster Tail Origins Origin. card game. So, go on this side. For the strengths, uh, there's a high margin. It's cheap for the peeps to buy. That's the normal humans. Uh, it's a card game. It's cheap to create. It's pretty cheap to print the cards and stuff like that. It's easy to make since you just print it. And it's reusable. I'm going to go on the weaknesses. Go on this side. So, the weaknesses uh, for the people who buy it, it may take some time to learn. It requires more than one person. And the art for the cards. And probably can't sell at the hard market. Not sure how the hard market works. Totally. So for opportunities, uh, there's the card game market. Oh, we can get extensions for the card game for more cards. Why am I still on this side? We can make a video game and we can sell it in a normal human store. Uh, threats, other card games, the market or like people to sell it to, and places to sell it.